Hi everybody, it's Danny with Fun Ukulele Projects. I have a really fun project for you tonight. You see my Romero Creations Grand Tenor right here. You see my Tomas Custom sitting right there. And both of them have Ukes with Alex, Rota Sound, Nylon strings on them. Uh, Alex uh, from Southern Ukulele Store uh, has, come, has worked with Rota Sound to come up with his own version of a you know his own nylon string set and when I heard about that I thought I would try it out he likes a warm sounding string on mango instruments and I do too so I put them on my mango and he said they work real well in the video he did promoting them on multiple different types of woods and my main two low G instruments that I have are my Romero Creations Grand Tenor and my Tomas Custom this one's obviously mango, spalted mango. This is all solid koa. Now, I have already filmed playing sections of each of these with my preferred strings on them. And for the mango, I really like Fremont Black Lines. And then for the Tomas, I put together a light gauge uh, PhD string set. I actually use the PhD concert this premium high density strings formulated by jason Iramoto, who is also one of the owners of uspace uh, i put them on here and also uh, when i do that i have a solo a fremont soloist wound low g i find that in general i don't care for wound low g's on my mango because mango vibrates and resonates in frequencies that you feel more than here and so it's very warm and warm feeling and it's also very bright because it resonates in bright frequencies. So basically, for me personally, I don't think Mango really needs the extra help of a wound low G. And so that's why I don't normally have it. I just have the Fremont black lines with the black line low G. These have a silver wound low G and then Alex's own specific gauges that he specified of Roto Sound nylon strings. And I really like them. They uh, come with a little package. Uh, Alex describes what he had put together. And for people that purchase these, he even gives the, uh, the road of sound, you know, the, the gauge equivalents. If you have a, a music store in your area that carries individual road of sound strings, <clears throat> and if you break a string, you can go in and you get these gauge equivalents. I'm not gonna tell you what the gauge equivalents are, because Alex is the one that, you know, put this together, and I think that uh, people should uh, give him support, get the strings, and if you get the strings and you like them and you need to get an extra string, well, then you'll have the gauges. I will say this. I change a lot of strings. I know how to change strings. I'm very careful when I change strings. Why am I mentioning all that? Because when I put the A string on my Tomas, I hadn't even gotten it tightened up to E4 when the string snapped. And it didn't snap at the knot. It didn't snap at the nut. It didn't snap at the tuner. It snapped almost in the middle of the string. And fortunately, he gives a generous amount of string, so I was able to barely, uh, basically knot the end here. It's not tied like a tie bar. I just knotted it at the end. And I had just enough to reach up here and to tune it back up. So all I can think of is there was something wrong with that particular A string. Uh, yet if I um, if it broke completely, I have the gauge and the roto sound of, of the roto sound you know nylon string to go to a store, just find a store around me that would have their string, and then I could I could get a replacement. But I thought I'd mention that because. I don't usually have strings uh, break, especially right in the middle of the string. That being said, I will um, put together a playing section and then I will come back and I'll do a little bit of a conclusion. As I, I mentioned, what, I, what the playing will uh, be doing is since I already, well, what I didn't mention uh, is that I'm the playing, let me take that back. What I already mentioned is I've recorded playing with my preferred string sets prior to trying these. And so then 
I am going to record the same playing with these each having the roto sound and then when I edit that together you'll see you know the black line with my generic pick then roto sound generic pick and then black line generic strum roto sound generic strum black line playing Sonoe roto sound playing Sonoe and then you will also see black line playing uh, long ago from James Hill's ukulele way and then the roto sound playing long ago from James Hill's ukulele way and then I'll do the little, there's one of the hammer on pull off sections that I will do from uh, Malaguena. These are very responsive strings for uh, finger style. And that's one of the things I really have to compliment Alex on is that while I like the sound of nylon and, and some nylon strings don't have a lot of dynamic range to them when playing, and sometimes they don't have the greatest feel, these strings have a great feel to them they're also very responsive and so uh, Alex did a fantastic job with that they also uh, more so on this instrument than this one depending on how I attack the string whether I'm just hitting it closer to the fingernail or what part of my finger I can get a slightly different tone uh, from from very light to very rich and that can come in very handy in terms of wanting to add extra dynamics to a piece I'm not going to go into all that detail here. I'm just going to play it um, however I end up playing it, just as similar as I did to the, uh, the strings, in this case, the PhDs, and in, the, and in this case, the black lines. And then I'll come back with a quick conclusion afterwards. Thank you very much. Now for the playing section. <laughs>
In conclusion, I really like these strings. Uh, for me personally, I, you know, I, won't, I won't know this for sure until I actually watch the playing videos myself. But from sitting behind the instruments, I'm very inclined to keep the uh, Alex, Alex strings on. Yet I'm more than likely going to switch to a Fremont soloist low here. And I'll go back to a black line low G here. And I'm at least going to put those on and try them out. And then I will decide how I'm going to uh, proceed, whether I'm going to you know, I leave the black line on here and the, the uh, soloist here. But I must say, I do really like the uh, Ukes with Alex strings, at least for the time being. These are going to be the strings that I'm going to be keeping on these instruments. I will say that I probably put them on four days ago, and uh, they're, they're settling in nicely. But the really interesting thing about them is uh, I tell people when you change strings, you know, give them two or three days to really get their optimum sound. These strings every day are just coming more to life. Uh, the first day I put them on, I was like, oh, they're okay. Not really spectacular. They're okay. Second day, wow, they're a lot nicer. Now this is the fourth day, and it's like every day they're, they're, they're sounding even sweeter. They're sounding nicer. And so I'm really enjoying these strings. And I hope you enjoyed this little comparison video. I highly recommend you try them out. If you like nylon strings, you'll probably love these strings. If you have never really cared for nylon strings before, because maybe you don't, like they're, they're not responsive enough, or you don't feel like they, uh, you know, you get good feel when playing them, uh, these are the, probably the best feeling nylon strings I've played. Uh, Alex, if you ever see this video, you did a great job with this set. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.